Hello everybody, my name is Steven Marqueteros and today we are outside with our own independent pool doing the real life sinking simulator challenge 4.0. We are trying to beat the record that that ship held. I don't remember it at the second, but we are thinking it's around 22 to 23 cans. So. I think it's closer to 20 to 22 cans. Well, anyway, we're going to totally own that record because if you will show the camera, we have a new challenge for us today using some new different sodas that we have acquired from certain uh, NASCAR related Paul Menard drivers, we've acquired some Shasta, some beautiful Mountain Rush and, and cream soda, caffeine free. So beautiful different flavors. We couldn't go with the traditional Mountain Dew this time. Unfortunately, they didn't give us a license to use their product. We were looking for a sponsorship. And we also got 11% back on these sodas, so. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so without further ado, welcome to this episode of Sinking Simulator 4.0. Would you like to explain what you're doing? I'm inflating the pool with a Coleman quick pump using 4D batteries that are of questionable age. Here we are in the beautiful pool that we bought on a certain site called, I think, Amazon.com. No, Walmart.com, as the cameraman very clearly pointed out to me there. All right, so right now I'm going to show off the, uh, I believe what I have named the Bodie McBoatface, yes. Uh, I don't know if we can get that on the camera here, uh, right there on the side of it, the Bodie McBoatface. It's a uh, beautiful vessel that has been uh, you know, adapted uh. over time. So this iteration of the Bodie McBoatface was created using, as you probably won't see from the camera angle, but there's lots of little fancy lines and stuff that say like 9.5 centimeters and front right, and there's a whole ton of writing all over the uh, the inside of it that just shows a, real, a lot of the fantastic work that I uh, put going into this. I did do a lot of measuring of where everything was going to go because last time, I don't know if you remember, but I tried this, like this, the spoke way on the inside, but it ended up not really turning out right, even though it was the one advantage that ship had. So I decided to uh, kind of go off of that and use a lot of hot glue to try and make it even more successful. All right, so without further ado, I think that right now is a perfect opportunity to put it in the water. All right, we ready? We ready? All right. On three, two, one. The first sailing of the Bodie Make a Boat Face is underway. All right, I don't have any tape or any sort of security with me, so uh, this vessel currently is all running on hopes and dreams right now. I already seeing some water on the inside, so, or is that hot glue? I, I hope that's hot glue. Okay, so some Shasta Mountain Rush right there. Beautiful Shasta Mountain Rush. Um, okay, well, I think this is the first can. Do we know how much each one of these cans weighs? Uh, we do not currently. 12 fluid ounces, so we'll figure that out in post-production a little bit, but, uh... You might want to consider laying it down, perhaps. Yeah, that'll take better use of the, uh, structure that I have put in place. I just ripped through the bottom of the boat right there. Didn't realize how fragile it was. Okay, second can going on right now. I'm gonna try to distribute these evenly. All right, looks like the craft sticks are taking on a lot of weight. Okay. Everything looks good though. Nothing is broken yet. All right, all right here up in the front. Okay, there we go. Got another one right next to that beautiful pillar that I've constructed for no reason other than I like pillars. Four cans of Mountain Rush. Four cans, it's almost beating the, uh, the record that your first boat uh, set. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, and I think these can go in the center. Ooh, I want to put these more on the outside, actually. There we go. Don't try this at home, kids. That soda would explode. Okay, okay, there we go. As long as they're resting on the craft sticks, they'll be fine. There we go, I was trying to break in here. There we go, into the side of the chest, though. These boxes are not very easy to open. What is that, like 20 seconds you've been opening that so far? There we go. Figured it out. It like kind of moves a little bit when you put it on. I don't know how to explain it. All right. The boat is not faring well, especially in the middle. It's really, I don't know. There we go. It's really starting to go under the water there, under the water line. Dens are okay, but they don't have any support, so I can't use them. 
which is unfortunate. Oh, there, there it says Bodie McBoat face everyone. Okay, there we go. Oh no, okay. <laughs> oh. All right. We don't have that many more to go. We're almost there. To the fabled limit of how many you can do with this paper boat idea of mine. We'll be three more cans. 21, you're 21. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Last can. Twenty-four cans of soda? There we go. Bodie McBoatface. Bodie McBoatface is taking on some serious water on the sides, though. What do you mean? He looks good. Bodie McBoatface is, uh... Well... She's riding kind of heavy in the in the back. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It looks great. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bodie McBoatface looks like no, she's no encountered rough seas. No rough seas. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's surprisingly resilient. Even in the face of rough seas. Yes. I think it's, it's, it's these side pillars that I put up. Otherwise, these would be collapsed in right now. The whole thing would be gone. See, this is barely hanging on right now. You can tell. That's even starting. See where I didn't put... Actually, I didn't put pillars up here, so I left most of the weight up there. How much more weight do you think you can hold? Do you have anything else to put on it? Not really. You think? Your shoes. There we go. We got these. I don't want to put my shoes on there. Let's get wet. Here's my current beverage. We can probably put the boxes on it. Those don't weigh anything. Yeah, they don't. We're gonna burn those, so don't put them in there. We're gonna burn these? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna break Bodie McBoatface. I mean, you can do that pretty hard, but that's just to splash water in it and fell it from the inside. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Bodie McBoatface is structurally... Sound. Taking damage. You know what I think needs to happen now? What? Structural failure needs to occur on the What's, Modi McBoatface. Don't you want Modi McBoatface to fail due to a gigantic hurricane wave? I don't I don't think it's gonna fail through a giant hurricane wave. We'll see. I think I'm gonna get wet before Modi McBoatface gets wet. This isn't very effective at all. You don't think so? No, I don't. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Bodie McBoatface is stop. swamping. There we go. Bodie McBoatface is going down. The only disadvantage to the weights that we use is that... Uh, the load float. shifted. Is that they float and so it doesn't actually sink very well. But the load shifted, which was the reason Bodie McBoatface died, much no, like the Edmund because, Fitzgerald. Well, it, was, it wasn't because the weight shifted; it was just because it was just because of the fact that it had water on the inside, and it weighed more. There it goes. Bodie McBoatface was the greatest ship on the Dodge the Mall real life sinking simulator ever. Even better than the Dale Jr. and the Kyle Bush. Didn't really have an honorable sinking, though. Yeah, it did. Meh. Vody McBoatface couldn't be sunk by anything other than a hurricane force winds and waves. Oh, it could have been sunk with a knife. I think so. Yeah, but seeing it sink in a hurricane was better. I don't know. People in the comments, what do you think? Hurricane or knife? Better option. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Real Life Sinking Simulator and want us to build another one to sink in this pool of ours that is perhaps maybe three times the size of the one we currently built and can hold, I guess, about three times the amount of cargo, don't forget to like, rate, comment and subscribe. My name is Steven Marcateros and that's Alexander Marcateros and we will see, see you guys, guys next time. time. <laughs> oh my god. Get under a Bodie McBoat face.
And a bonus to anyone in the comment section, if you can name what store we bought that soda at that has 11% rebates, please put it below in the comments. Just for fun. Okay.